Hey guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. I'm back with another weekly spread. This one's all layered up with some spooky glam goodness. And don't forget, all the resources are going to be linked in the description. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Check it out. All right, let's dig into this weekly spread. This is one of the page templates that comes in the one month planner for my Spooky Glam collection. And these are the new scrapbook stickers. If you haven't seen these yet, go check them out. They are so much fun. Torn papers, washi, paper clips, uh, thumbtacks, all that goodness. So I'm starting out with this torn paper because I decided this is where I wanted to layer up my mini calendar. So there's a little mini calendar grid on the page, but I thought let's do something different. So I'm going to layer up some pieces so that it looks like they are like paper clipped on. So I'm pulling just the, a standard box from the big book and then one of the mini calendars from the mini kit bundle in my CHQ kit for this month. And then I'm going to go back to the scrapbook uh, set and I'm going to pick out one of these paper clips. So I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted to go with either. I wanted the round one, but there's different colors. There's like a lighter pinky purple and then like a medium one and a gray. So I pulled in this color first, but then I decided I wanted more contrast. So I went back and I got the one that was a little more gray. Now, just in case you already have the, um, accessory bundle for this the paper clips in the scrapbook kit are different colors so it's like the ones you don't get with the accessory bundle next i'm going to grab one of these paper notes there's two different colors in the paper notes set there's a darker purpley pink and a lighter pinky color so i'm going to use both in this and I'm going to create this little area up here at the top that is going to be kind of like my random notes area. I think in the end, I didn't write notes. I think I like paper clipped a, a quote sticker here instead. But I'm just using the grid lines on the page to kind of decide what size I want. And next, let's look at the mini kit bundle so currently this is in chq for the month of october but this weekend it will go up in my shop as a regular item because monday we get new kits for chq how fun is that and i've already gotten some sneak peeks at what other people are doing the other creators so i can't wait for you guys to see it i know i'm obsessed with my november collection it's so freaking pretty anyways that's coming out monday so for this um this bundle has like all kinds of different little just like functional things and like these long washies so i'm using the long washi here to cover up that top little section where it's kind of like a place where you can put the date and the day that's already on there but i decided i wanted something different so i'm gonna line up this washi at the top and we're going to use paper notes for the actual days of the week but this is kind of covering up my little scrapbook page so i'm just going to cut and paste i'm working in good notes if you're working in note shelf you could just say move to the front or to the back to layer that up so either way super simple so like i said we're going to use paper notes for the days of the week now with this weekly spread it's set up um, it's a Monday start, so the weekend is together, and I personally love to plan that way. It makes more sense to me, but that's just me. Um, everyone's different. That's why there's more weeks in this in this setup, and you can always cover it up with stickers, right? So this is back in the the big book for this set, and I've got three different kinds of numbers for dating your pages, and I'm going to go with these cute little flags. And 
And we're just going to size these up. They're pretty close to what I actually want. And one thing that's fun about using like this light grid on the page is that you can just size things up according to the grid. And it's just kind of makes things easier because you can just be like, okay, from this line to this line. Now I know what size to make the rest of them, right? Easy. Okay, so I did make it just slightly larger. So I'm going to size up these other ones. So that they're, they're as close as you can get. You can't get 100%, you know, exact with good notes. Because one, you have to, when you're building the sticker books, you have to load everything individually. And it doesn't always come in. I'm sure you guys have noticed it. When you bring stickers into good notes, it doesn't always come in the exact same size. Even though the sticker image itself might be the same size, doesn't mean it's going to import into good notes the same exact size. So I don't know why. So for the weekend, I am sl splitting up the dates on the ends. I thought that would be a fun way to do it. Sometimes I do it like where, you know, it's like a number and a little slash, another number. But since I'm using these little flags, I thought it would just be easy to do one on each end. So now it's all about getting these little paper notes the same size. They fit right there in those grid lines. And then... I try to get these things as close to the same size as I can when I'm loading them in. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to try to resize all three of these at the same time so that they're close. And one thing to remember with these paper notes is they do have a larger boundary because they have some realistic shadows. So you can crop that down, but you may get like weird shadow lines. Um, but it does make like the area around them. So when you click on them, it makes them a little bit bigger. But just that's why, if you haven't noticed that. So the weekend thing that just goes in the middle, I think that works out perfectly, right? And when you have a big sticker book, like this one is like 12 pages long, including the cover. It's so easy to hit that little grid button up at the top and then you see all the pages at once. And then you just click on the page you want instead of like scrolling and scrolling. So that's a little fun little tip there for you. Okay, so what am I looking for? Okay, so I played around with different ideas for what I wanted to do with this note area up at the top. And I decided let's go with one of these stickers where it's a simple box, but it's like semi transparent. So you can still see the grid underneath it. But it allows you to change the color of this area. Now, the little weekly, I mean, the, the little daily boxes that's already on this page template to have like this light pinky purple background. So this is kind of like the, the medium color in there. And now I've just got to move my, you know, my stickers that I already had on the page like out of the way so I can cut and paste. I accidentally grabbed my text up there for the notes. So I'm going to turn off image selection so I can just get the text and move it back up there to my little notebook. And then I can just place my note to self and my little, little paint strokes that I thought would be fun on here. I liked them underneath the paper note instead. So I'm just going to take that off and paste it back. Ooh, excuse me. I just yawned. It's like five o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this. So that's why my coffee hasn't fully kicked in yet. Mm. Take a little sip. It's okay. All right. So layer that up. I feel like that's fun. It's different. Once again, got to take the scrapbook calendar area, cut and paste, put that back on top. Nice. You can also layer that whole thing up in like uh, Procreate. So it becomes one image if you wanted. That's another little thing you could do. Um, I've been doing that with my sticker mashups that you guys have been seeing in the past few weeks on Instagram and well, on Facebook. Procreate's a fun way to layer those things up and then just copy them and paste them into your planner spreads as like one image. That way you get that layered look, but you only have to deal with one image, right? Handy. Okay, so for this area, I decided, you know, we've got the to-do list on the side. And then I thought, let's do a project area over here where it says notes to do a project. Great little place that I can add notes there. I thought, you know, for my November collection, I can add my notes because this is from like a couple weeks ago. 
But in the end, I, I changed that because I realized something. But we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but I did change that up. And now I want to pull in one of my planner charms that are just so cute. Look at that little skull. It's got eyelashes and everything, some glitter. Because, you know, glitter. <laughs> Why not? All right. So this is where I thought, let's grab in one of these. Kind of like, it's kind of like a little border, a little sticker. I thought would be fun just to kind of fill in that space. I could use a sticker that's a solid color to continue that color for like the little headers all the way across. But then I thought, let's do a little, little line here. Well, it's different, you know, that's fun, right? And then let's see this. Okay, so this is where I thought... Instead of a project area, I realized that for this particular week, I had a whole bunch of book releases that I've been anticipating. So I thought there, there were literally five book releases in this one week that was on my to be read list. So I thought instead of taking up that room on my daily boxes, let's just create this little list sticker so I can use this area up here for that instead. So I'm just going to pull in this, this colored box, just this simple one, and I'm going to stretch it out. In GoodNotes, you have the little image stretchy tools, so I can just stretch this out. If you're working in note shelf, it's a little more difficult if you want to do something like that, because then you have to crop it down to the shape that you want. You can't just stretch it, so you have to crop until it gets to round about the right size. So that's kind of annoying there, but it still works. It still works. Or you could do it in Procreate. That works too. But so this is going to be my little area for keeping up with the book releases. Obviously, I can't read all five new book releases in the same week. That's just, I mean, I read a lot, but I, I just, I can't do that. That's just kind of crazy. But this is a good little area where I can, you know, have like my little list here. So I decided we're going with this whole paper notes look. So let's grab one of these paper notes that are blank and it's got like this little spider web tape at the top. I thought that would be good because if I get the paper clip one, it's going to come down too far. So I thought the little washi tape would be cute, right? And then I add text because, you know, I didn't need that first little circle up there. So I'm going to add text so I can say book releases and then I decided, okay, let's resize it, but nah, let's do a different font. So I ended up changing the font because I wanted it to match my paper notes. So I'm going to change it to that. By the way, I'm going to, I'm gearing up to do a word sticker set. So it'll be the font that matches this set and, uh, but it's stickers. So you don't have to go and like track down the font and type everything out every, you know, you know, every time I'm going to have a sticker book of just words and headers that you can use. It's going to be super handy. You're get, you're, you're going to love it. It's right now it's <laughs> it's up to like 6 pages of stickers, you guys. It's it's kind of a lot. So, hopefully that will be out soon. And then you don't have to use the fonts and type it out. You know, coming soon. Okay, so this is one of my little sticker mashups that I did. I think I shared it last week, week before, something like that, last week. And I am just going to export it as a picture, just the PNG. So it's got like no background to it, right? Turn off my backgrounds and then I can just paste it in here. But I realized I left my little Instagram, you know, handle up there. So turn that off. So I'm just going to export, tell it to copy and then I can just paste it in here. You can also export it as an image and tell it to save it. Um, to like your camera roll or save it somewhere else. But since I just wanted it really quickly, I can just say copy and then just paste it in. So now I get this little layered sticker look, but it's only one image. So I don't have to like accidentally click one of those. If you're working in note shelf, you could lock all that obviously, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, at least seven stickers in this mashup. And that's kind of a lot, right? To do all individually. So by doing it in Procreate 
And then I can add shadows. I can add some little glowing effects, little pin strokes in there, all that kind of stuff. And then it becomes one sticker I can use in my planner. Very handy, right? So for this part, I'm just using these simple little boxes to put on here to note some like reminders that I have. Oh, excuse me while I yawn. Oh my gosh, more coffee, please. Okay, so these are just my little reminder stickers for, um, for like social media stuff, videos, blog posts, stuff like that that's going out through the week. That is what that's all about. Then I decided I wanted a fun little torn paper to kind of go with the one up at the top so you have that, that feeling going on, right? And I like this one because it's like a little skinny one. And you've got the little torn edge at the bottom. So I thought, where can I put this? And I thought, oh, let's stick it over here to the side so I can use a paper clip to make it look like it's clipped onto the page. Can you tell I kind of got like a paper, paper clip type of thing going on? All right. So if I let this snap to like just like a straight rotation there, then it will line up with the side of the page and I don't have to worry about getting the angle just right. So it's you know, because it's designed to line up with the top, or you just snap it to the side, then you got it to the side, right? Totally works. And then I've got, so the paper strip is going to be because the 21st was our wedding anniversary, and I thought that would be a cute little way to write out wedding anniversary on that little paper. But then I had a doctor's appointment that day, so I thought, let's get one of these little colored boxes with the little border around it. And throw a little appointment paper note on there. And how freaking cute is that, right? Uh, like I said, I've got kind of like this paper clip, paper type of vibe going on for this set. So these little border boxes are just cute. You know, it's just a simple white background and a little decorative border. It's a great way to add notes to your planner and make them sort of like stand out. Right, and then because I'm a perfectionist, lining it up with the grid works perfectly. And then I thought, well, let's grab one of these headers. And I'm like, wait, what am I doing? We're going with the paper notes. So came back to the paper notes, right? And throwing that on there. Oh, how cute. And I'm alternating between the dark color and the light color for my paper notes. So the dark color is just, you know, for the days and light color for everything else. So this is the accessory bundle. And like I said, the, the stuff that you get in the scrapbook bundle, it matches, but the, the little paper clips and stuff, they're different colors. I mean, they're colors from the set, but it's not like you'll get duplicates. So, you know, she don't want that. That seems like, like a waste or you get gypped or whatever. So this is a fun little sticky note that goes on there. And then I love my pins. So let's throw a pin on there. We're going to stick this. I thought about the side, but then I'm like, nope, let's go to the top. Just throw that on there. That's a perfect little space for there. Okay, here's a tangent for you, right? Well, while we're still going, here's a little tangent. Do you like having this little extra space around your planner pages? Or do you like it going to the edges? Here's why I like this little extra space because I zoom in to write my notes, right? Well, if it goes all the way down to the bottom of the page and you have no extra room, when you zoom in, then it's like you have to write at the edge of your iPad and then like, so your hands all off in like this weird position because there's no extra room, you know? So that's why I like the extra room because then when you like zoom in, your hands not like in this weird position off of your iPad. Why am I miming this? You can't see it. But you know, if, if your actual planner spread goes like edge to edge, then there's like, when you zoom in, it's like, like, I, I mean, I fill up my pages most of the time. Like, I don't want to like write at the bottom of the screen. I, I like to have a little bit of room. So my hands like actually sitting on the iPad instead of like half on half off. Right. So that is my little tangent about why I like having a bit of room. And then you stick decorations and accessories and all that, all that good just So, you know. So, yeah, yeah, that's my, that's my tangent. This is it. This is my spread. 
love it you guys oh it's so freaking pretty oh i love it all right you want to see how it looks at the end of the week turned out really good right look at all those notes see what i mean loaded with notes right okay that's it i'm out i will catch you in the next video bye guys